hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining and welcome to my session about improving rat limit experience for developer in Istio. So my name is Zufar. I'm working in uh, Goto Financial in GoPay as a code platform engineer and uh, being work with Istio for almost two years. Uh, maintaining more than 20 Kubernetes cluster with Istio service mesh enabled. So let's start. Uh, why we need red limit? So let's define. Uh, let's start defining what is red limit. So red limit is a strategy or a pattern for limiting traffic, or requests, or resource usage. It's actually put a limit on how often someone can repeat an action within a certain time frame. For example. For example, uh, a user trying to log in into an account, we can put a red limit in that flow. For example, a uh, user can only red, uh, log in uh, for five uh, per minute, something like that. So this pattern is actually provide a lot of benefit since it can, it can reduce a DDoS attack, throttling, and resource consumption based on the role that developer want to apply on their service. Uh, currently in Istio, applying red limit, uh, if we want to apply red limit, uh, we, we apply it via an envoy filter object. This object is an advanced yet a breaking glass, uh, breaking glass object since all the configuration in here is actually reflect uh, envoy configuration. So any change on the envoy it will actually change the configuration in Envoy Filter. Istio actually provide a very good documentation on how to apply red limit via uh, Envoy Filter. You, you can check in istio.io uh, istio the documentation. So the problem is in our infra, we apply Envoy Filter versioning. Uh, this is actually to go trail the configuration since it's actually bre uh, breaking glass API. We need to create Envoy filter object for every Istio version. So for example, if we have 1000 Envoy filter and we want to upgrade uh, the Istio from 1.11 to 1.12, we need to create 1000 Envoy filter. Uh, this process uh, of creating 1000 info filter is a uh, very prone to human error and actually can slow down the upgrade process. Also, the configuration on Envoy filter is actually very complex because it's actually reflect the Envoy configuration. So uh, we want to uh, abstract that away from the developer. With all of that problem, uh, we, we uh, we point out several requirements. Uh, the, the first is we want to a platform or a service that can abstract the complex red limit configuration so developer can easily understand and create the red limit configuration. All red limit configuration also need to uh, automatically version and go trail to each still version. Uh, this is to avoid a breaking glass API. As an addition, uh, this service or platform need to support global and local red limit in uh, in the Istio uh, for performance. So uh, we can switch between global and local red limit if needed. With all of that requirement and problem, we come up with a Kubernetes operator solution. <laughs> this operator uh, will create a uh, and uh, Envoy filter and several Kubernetes object based on uh, five Kubernetes object that we uh, we introduce, uh, which is red limit service, global red limit config, global red limit, local red limit config, and local red limit. Let's take a look at the global red limit concept since this is the most mature in our operator. First, we create a red limit service. This is a service that support Envoy red limit interface. 
so we can configure several things like replica uh, resource usage and request backend redis and stats t this red limit service uh, will create a deployment and service inside the kubernetes global red limit config will enable a red limit functionality in a specific deployment selected by the label if, if you can see in in the global red limit config uh, in this case we are selecting the istio gateway you can configure uh, which version uh, you want to enable the red limit uh, for example uh, 1.10 until 1.12 in this uh, specification, we select the service to a red limit service. And we have a global red limit. Since the Istio gateway can have multiple domain, a global red limit can divide its uh, domain. So we can red limit on a specific domain only. So if you can see, the global red limit object, uh, both the selector, which is vhost and road, is actually selected from the virtual service host and the road name. So we can actually uh, a red limit per road base. And the measure in in here the the, the example is uh, we want to uh, red limit based on the method and path here the generic key is actually for uh, labeling so we can have a better matrix in the red limit surface letter so this is uh, actually the summary on how we implement a red limit per road so the only requirement for developer is actually to set a road name in the virtual service and when they already set that they can implement red limit for each the for each road name in the virtual service so let me give you some demo on how we try to red limit so uh, as you can see uh, we already create uh, three object which is global red limit uh, global red limit config and red limit service uh, if, if, if we uh, you can actually check with with this command it actually created for t days ago so if we check the red limit service uh, it will actually create a bot or deployment we have three replica and this uh, it will actually create a config map uh, for the red limit service if we check the config map uh, we can see that it implements several uh, descriptor the method path the red limit road and the domain based on the global red limit if, if if you can see in here right uh so it will act also create a uh, two different envoy filter the first envoy filter is actually to uh, enable red limit service in the gateway and the second uh, envoy filter is actually to enable uh, the red limit uh in the specific route so we can actually try to curl that so this is uh, we implement one request per hour so if we try to curl uh, uh, the specific uh, road right it will success in the first uh, it will reach 200 and if we implement it in the second uh, because we implement only one request per, per hour right uh you you can see that it will get for uh for 29 http code which is red limited and you can see that uh it's actually return accent for red limited so the red limit service is actually working yeah yep i think that's all for the demo
so the last uh, step or the milestone for red limit service is actually we want to make it a production ready uh, we need to implement several things like uh, improving uh, the unit test in Istio Red Limit Operator and uh, because currently we still installing the Istio Red Limit Operator in our staging uh, we want to also make it production uh, probably we can do uh, probably in the next month and we want to also integrate uh, our operator or Istio Red Limit Operator with our uh, with go passage uh, or super app for agent yep uh, i think that's all uh, thank you very much